At first glance, the Iguana Yachts 29 looks much like any other high-end sports boat. It's a nice, clean, open design with an aggressive vertical bow and plenty of seating. It's beautifully finished, it's powered by a Mercury Verado 300 horsepower engine, and it drives very nicely. It'll do 35 knots comfortably, the carbon fibre hull is very solid, and that slender bow cuts through the waves far better than you might imagine. But it also has one other very special trick up its sleeve. The Iguana 29 is amphibious. Rather than using wheels, it uses a pair of folding caterpillar tracks that tuck up into the hull to become part of the shape of the hull itself. But when you want to climb out on land, you just lower them on its electronic hydraulics and drive it up the beach, a little bit like you might a tank. Those tracks are adjustable, very simply using an app on the phone so that it can crawl up soft beaches, mud, or even over rocks. And because you can control it remotely using the iPhone, you don't even have to be in the boat at the time. Don't be deceived into thinking this is just some kind of a gimmick or rich man's toy. This is a seriously capable machine. We were really impressed by just how rugged and tough it feels. It was designed by an entrepreneur of the house on the Brittany coast, and he wanted it to be able to crawl over rocks and cope with the rough tides and conditions you get around the Channel Islands. And that's exactly what the iguana feels like. It's far tougher and more capable than you might imagine, but it's also very neatly designed so that when you drive into the sea, the caterpillar tracks fold up neatly into the hull. Once they're tucked away, you simply wouldn't know they were there. It feels just like any other boat. The hydraulics are powered either by a separate two litre petrol engine, or in this case, a powerful lithium ion battery that gives around 110 minutes of running time. It's not cheap, costing around 400,000 euros, but given how capable it is on land and sea, we think it's worth every one of those.